Hi, welcome to Fix Home Network. Today I will show you how to set up Linksys E1200 wireless router. In this video, I will show you how to set up this router without installation CD or Cisco Connect software. Also, we will see uh, what is the default password of Linksys E1200 router. Uh, also discuss about uh, guest wireless network access and uh, how to upgrade the firmware of this router. Now let's start with the uh, first section, how to set up Linksys E1200 router without installation CD or Cisco or Linksys Connect software. Now first of all, connect your main computer to one of the four ports on the Linksys router. Uh, on this router you will see four Ethernet ports, port number one, two, three, four. You can connect your computer to one of the four ports of this router and connect your internet modem to, to the internet port on the Linksys router or WAN port on the Linksys router. For the initial uh, configuration or the setup of this router, we will connect the computer to the router with the ethernet cable. Okay, now on your main computer, open the internet browser like Safari, Chrome, Internet Explorer, or any other browser you have just open that browser and in the address bar type in the number 192.168.1.1 hit enter or hit go now this will open the setup page of this Linksys router this is the page uh, where you will change the settings of your Linksys router it will ask you for the username and password the default password of Linksys E1200 router is admin. Leave the username blank. If that doesn't work, then try admin in username and admin in the password. If that also doesn't work, then there must be a password change. You might have changed the password of this router. Now, if you are setting up this router for the first time, or if you just want to reconfigure the router, then I reset the router. When you reset the router, it will come back to the factory default settings and uh, it will uh, accept the uh, default password of this router. So on this router, uh, you will see a small reset button. Press and hold this reset button for 15 seconds. Release the reset button. Unplug the power cable to the router and plug it back in. Wait for 30 seconds. All these uh, steps are uh, there on my website, Fix Home Network. Uh, there is a link in the description box. You can simply visit the link and you will get all the information on the website also. Now, when you open the setup page of the Linksys router, you will see the page like this. Now, uh, we will discuss uh, the internet connection settings for three different uh, internet service provider. The first one will be cable internet service provider. The second one will be uh, the DSL internet service provider with the PPP OE connection. And the third one will be static IP address given by internet service provider. So let's start with the cable internet service provider. Now on this setup page, you will see a sub tab called Mac address clone. Click on Mac address clone. Now enable the Mac address clone and click on the small button clone my pieces mac now this will basically clone the mac address of your main computer uh, and it will assign the mac address to the linksys router then click on save settings click continue now that's it uh, for the uh, cable internet service provider you don't need to change any other internet connection settings for cable internet service provider you just need to clone the mac address now uh, let's go to the second option that is DSL internet service provider using PPPOE username and password. Now on the setup page you will see internet connection type. It is uh, by default set to automatic configuration DHCP. Change it to PPPOE. Then you will see username and password box. Enter the username and password given by your uh, internet service provider. And so whatever may be the username and password given by your internet service provider, just enter the password and uh, enter the username. Click on save settings at the bottom 
and let's uh, get to continue and at the status it will show that uh, PPPoE connection is connected now that, that's it for the PPPoE connection the third option will be static IP address let's uh, select the internet connection type to static IP address enter the internet IP address the subnet mask and the default gateway number DNS1 and DNS2 all these settings are given by your internet service provider once entered just uh, click on save settings and click continue now go to the status page and he here you will see all those information that you just uh, enter on the internet connection settings now uh, that's it for the internet connection settings once you uh, change the internet connection settings your main computer will be able to access the internet and uh, that means your router is communicating with your modem and uh, that's it for the internet connection settings now let's move on to the wireless uh, network settings on the setup page click on the wireless tab select the option manual we will change the settings manually network mode let it on mixed change the network name and channel width uh, you can just uh, simply uh, clear, keep it on uh, auto channel auto or you can change it to 11 SSID broadcast must be enabled click on save settings click on continue now we will secure the wireless network click on wireless security sub tab change the security mode to WPA2 personal select the password or type in the password for your network this will be the password of your wireless network click on save settings click continue okay that's it uh, for wireless settings we have changed the name of the wireless network we have also enabled the wireless security on the network so no one will be able to access your network without that password now let's move on to guest network if you want to allow guests to access internet or the wireless uh, at your home then you can set the guest network this is a separate network uh, assigned for the guests only and they will they won't be able to access your main network it's a separate network so select yes allow guest network yes now this is the name of your wireless uh, network for the guest the password currently shows guest change it to whatever you want this will be the password for the wireless guest network this is the password total guests allowed you can change it to 1 to 10 any number SSID broadcast must be enabled and click save settings and then click continue okay that's it for the wireless network settings and now we have changed the wireless uh, network settings so you can go to your wireless computer and try to connect to the wireless network you will see your wireless network name and uh, it will ask you for the password enter the password and get connected if you have a mobile you want to connect to the wireless network go to the Wi-Fi connect to the wireless network it will ask you for the password enter the password and uh, get connected what is the default password of Linksys E1200 router now the default password of this Linksys router is admin admin and uh, leave the username blank do not type anything in the username and uh, try to log in if that doesn't work then try admin in the username and admin in the password now how to change the password of Linksys E1200 router to change the password of Linksys router you will need to log into the Linksys router page the setup page go to the administration tab now here you'll see the router password change it to whatever you want confirm the password and click on save settings at the bottom now this will change the password of your router now how to upgrade the firmware of Linksys router now on the same set of page just below the administration tab you will see firmware upgrade sub tab click on the firmware upgrade sub tab here is a browse button first you will need to download the firmware of your router from the Linksys website the website will be linksys.com just go to the website download the correct version firmware file then save it on your main computer for the 
upgrade, you need to connect the computer to the router with the Ethernet cable. So do not use a wireless computer to upgrade the firmware of the router. Now if you already have a firmware file on your computer. Click on browse and browse the file that you have downloaded and click on start upgrade. This will start upgrading the firmware of the router. Once done, it will show you the firmware upgrade is successful. So that's it for Linksys E1200 wireless router setup. If you have any questions or if you have any trouble, you can simply leave a comment on this video or you can visit our website www.fixhomenetwork.com slash blog and uh, uh, there you can leave the comment. We will try to answer your queries as soon as possible. So thanks for watching.